Hey guys, today is March, May, Shucks. May 25. Um, I know, grabe na kayo ang COVID karon, especially dali sa mga sa Cebu City. Um, I, ho I hope you guys are all okay. Wala ray damage or something. Um, well, it's not the best time for all of us, but... Uh, I'm just finishing off a video sa Among Climbs Apple. This was back in third week of Feb. Uh, Feb 21 to 23. Actually, ito nga time. Murag ko na to siya. Uh, initial stages sa COVID. I remember pag biyahe na magpadalong Davao, Gikan Cebu, nagmask na may then sanitize na and everything. But wala pag ito siya outbreak. Um wala pa po yung travel restrictions atong nga time so which was good nadayon ra mong biyahe uh, sorry sa uban nga nagplano og climb april and may and then wala na dayon sa on taman so uh, just wanna create an intro video for you guys for day 1 uh, just a bit of background sa mga itinerary and uh giyon sa pa climb basically it was a 3 day itinerary uh, nag-start me sa Davao So nag-start me sa Davao We stayed for one night Sa Davao City um, Just to get the supplies Nga wala na mo Dili na mo po yung madala sa airport Or um, And then of course mo pa Hawaii po Then um, Impact yung karong kung sa rango mo Ang dalon sa bukid And then we made the trip down to uh, Santa Cruz So we made the trip down to Santa Cruz and then up to Barangay or yeah Barangay Kapatagan in Digo City. So the rain in Mahao, um, that was like 5 a.m. It was very cold, for 14 degrees or something. Um, and then nagsakay dayon mi ang truck padulong sa dere. Jump off dere. Nakalimot ko sa tong Sitio Kulan. City of Kulan. Yep. So, we... we dari mi nagbalit mo na bilhin sa mga gamit o ba na mga gamit nga di na mo kalahan sa bukid. So, dari City of Kulan. Ang mga organizer nga si Arj, kinasya kay Ilo dari. Mga local porters and nagbibili na po ang mga stuff dari. Which is good. At least, dili na na mo madala. Di na na mo kalangan arsahon ang mga necessary stuff. From City of Kulan, this was Friday morning around 8 or 9 a.m. start na mayog track. So ang target na mo ato for day 1 is Tinikaran campsite. It took us about 5 to 6 hours para mabot sa Tinikaran campsite. Uh, so Tinikaran is actually from City of Kulan. As far as I can remember is up 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 and up and up and then may mga flat nga areas but mostly up gitya. Um, forested area ni siya dere, so dili siya init which is good especially sa katong pagsaka na mo medyo kuwan din siya medyo init but since forested area man uh, nindot rang mong pagkat kat about me sa tinikaran comes it actually earlier than the itinerary the schedule we were supposed to hit the campsite at around 3 or 4 p.m. at the latest but um, medyo okay ra po ng pace so naabot me around 2 which give, gave us a lot of time para mag prepare uh, pitch a campsite and then even nakapahuway po ganyan eh nakatulog kami pagkahapon and then dinner early night gito siya kay we had to wake up at 2 a.m. para assault sa summit which was a goal which was supposed to be a sunrise summit um, looking back into it now see, we were so far off from the summit but uh, Narabagya po yung section sa video na makita ninyo for day 2 nga asa may naka sunrise which was still pretty good spot to have a sunrise uh, on day 2 so 2am yung matami sa tinikaran campsite and then somewhere there up to the boulders sa so start sa boulders from tinikaran campsite to the boulders is all uphill technical uphill um 
rocks. Well, forested area again po niya, but roots, rocks, um, basta hanga. Hanga kayo. Pag about sa boulder, as you might expect, the rain. As you might expect, the rain na gagay area. So, as you might expect, there is a boulder, quad gitcha. Um, technical. Um, there are areas which you will see in the video. There are times where medyo exposed siya, like exposed to fall or rock fall or may go ka. Um, and which is a little bit dangerous. So, medyo careful lang yun kayo midere, distance lang from each other. Um, and then at least kung na yung mga falling rocks kayo, you know, mga warning nga nang nasa ubos. But basically, the rimi nag-una and then the rimi nag-sunrise na around this area which was Camp E. Camp E, I think. Um, the rimi nag-sunrise, so pretty good spot for sunrise breakfast uh, which you guys will see in the video anyway. And then, the rimi ni Traverse, Padulo, so white something. I forgot, white sand, white sand cap. So, the rimi area, um, so white sand camp was supposed to be uh, sort of like rest area na mo dali, but um, a few months before na yung more landslide dali, or something and kanisha kanisha ng area nag landslide niya which me which meant that this area was actually the white sand camp was actually very dangerous to be staying in so nila host give me the rain the rain in grass and then padulong the rain this is actually summit crater Summit crater niya. So nami there is obos. It's probably around thirty minutes of pure technical uphill, uh, scrounging good hands, feet, there, which was a little bit exposed. Okay, if na kay heavy packing at this point, and someone climb, we did have, we did carry our own load except for the food, the organizer, but everything else from tent to poles to everything else actually sandals headlamps everything kami rin nagdala which was a little scary dere kung kay medyo exposed gid siya probably 60 70 degrees in some areas and nagani areas gid nga like full exposed mga 18 degrees gid siya dag dam kay magunitan but exposed gid siya and then we took some pictures dere sa summit uh, crater wala na ni siya water dere pa abot na mo but niya namo organizer from time to time kung gusto nang wala na ni water but pagkat ka naman itong Feb, wala. O gani siya. And then, we then took a little side trail there, which was 80 to 90 degrees. Scary. Uh, I'm not even sure if I have a video of it, but um, we'll see on day 2. And then, summit. So, summit was pretty cool. Uh, dugay na po may sa mga grupo. Dugay na kayo may good nga. Kung nga, kat -kat apo, and this was the best time for it. The weather was perfect. And summit pictures, summit videos. Nice. And then, the naog may the ring area where we had our lunch. The ring? Is it the ring or the ring? Asa, so, almost gamay. The ring may nag lunch. And then, after lunch, we made our way to Binado. So, here, you can see like Binado. And then, ang katong area na mo nga nag, nag stay me for lunch around the ring. So, gikan dari padulong sa Lake Binado is 2 to 3 hours of downhill kogon pagyad. So, gloves and hand protection is very important. This is 2 to 3 hours pure downhill. Medyo basa pagyad ang trail. So, medyo lapo. Ligyas-ligyas but uh, mong po na yung nakanindot kung nagdala nga bag. Kung maligyas ka ang bag, gano'ng mabunal. Which is good. Uh, cuts and bruises but nothing really big or something or like maka-enjoy na yun siya. Lake Binado, day 2. So, dari may campsite. The water was actually very low. Ang water level was low. So, this is Binado. Ang among campsite, which is nindot kayo pagka-pick sa mong organizer, is around here. Dari nga area. So, nindot kayo siya. Kay the main campsite is here, which means na nang tao dari. And then, dari may nag -cap. So, nindot kayo siya. And then close uh, forest for you know wind protection, rain protection, and then you know if you have to go and poppy. Nindot kayo yung pictures dere sa binado, of course. But sa morning ang pinaka nindot is dere when namo dere ang background niyo ang lake binado and ang uh, summit ridge. So some of the best pictures get kay dere sa lake binado sa campsite. 
And then so day three, so we spend the night here. Day two, we spend the night here. And then day three, uh, we were lucky. Kay dili ka siya super cold dere. Um, there was a time like super cold, but I I realized nga ang tent na mo was not fully like closed and not fully in contact with the ground. Ang tent fly, which was you know, driving a little bit of wind under the tent so that was cold but after na to na figure out and then all of their layers four or five layers i think uh it was a very restful night so we slept really well the weather was perfect and then early morning of course early morning was kitong pictures na with um with the lake and the summit with the peak in the background and sunset pictures na ko is katurang sa lake with sunset colors which is you'll see on day two and then to finish off is actually more in a way more siya back trail or you know not really back trail but gikan sa tinikaran then sa boulders and then sa peaks and sa binado we actually made our way back to tinika uh, not yet tinikaran but sitio kulan balik gid siya so from here which is binado we actually just made sort of like a Mararam gituyok ang summit ridge. Dere, I'm sure dere somewhere dere nakita naman tong Almasiga na Century Tree, which was the only like site um, or the only thing interesting actually. Trail was all forest, um, up and down, up and down, but mostly is down, which is good well, because we're going down at this point. And then we emerged from the forest somewhere around here i'm not even sure but somewhere there which was good we were ahead of our schedule put about me like around 1 or 2 p.m uh which was perfect and then we made our way back to the trail and then balik sa sitio kulan where we sort of said our goodbyes to the porters and everybody and then balik na po din mi sa Kapatagan and made our way back in back to Davao City. Nabot mi sa Davao City, Feb 23, Sunday, at around dinner time. And then slept, stayed in Davao City for one more day and then made the trip back to Cebu the following Monday. So, uh, that's pretty much moto mga itinerary. Of course, I have details or videos and stuff. But uh, it was definitely one of a life one in a lifetime experience um weather was perfect actually the climb was perfect it was very well organized and uh, i'll leave ang details sa uh, more organizers sa, sa video para makontakt niyo siya but is a pretty well known organizer and guide of mount apo and he took care of us really well so that's it for the intro and then the next uh Three videos is day one to three, uh, one day each. Para medyo medyo mabutang ginakot na videos. But then, um, yeah, enjoy the videos and stay away from COVID. King. Sorry, mga story ah. Salamat <laughs> 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 Mama, <laughs> 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 oh, no. 
हो गया है इन्हें Only for section. Don't get in there. It's a cool one. Mini boulders. Ten kilometers, ten point seven. Last so water source for campon. Tumpis. Gusto mo yung makastorya ang mga trail check? Tadang! Nawala ko ay! Nawala ko sa kagaling ko ay! Nawala ko sa kagaling ko ay! Nawala ko sa kagaling ko ay! Nawala ko sa tao nga may dadaala niya dari Santa Cruz. Mau lagi? Empat ratus meter itu bro. Apoy, and then hangak Wala nag isumpay, di ba? Ganda rito na naglitok Ganda to, agip ito Uy, matuhod na Ito 
Sudah jatuh. Tuk No No na PM prep dinner organizer. human ma 2 AM Mamata kay para makasandays mo sa summit. Magkuhan sa mi. Naps sa mi kay Jude. And on siya Camp 1 Tinikaran. Karan? Tinikaran. Tinikaran. So nice. Tinikaran. Yeah, Tinikaran. And uh, even with sa katong load na ako kay Abit yung okay lobal. So, sulit ang pay climb. Muna ko mag major climb mo, pay climb. Night. Muna may dinner 7.15. Nakambay na lang isa. Then, wake up call is 2 a.m. Tiga dahil niya mag-sunrise sa summit. So, makatulog na kami ganina. So, gamay na lang niya. Six, yeah, around six hours for. And then, makanapod early. Three layers. Up, up, two layers down. Gloves, socks, track pants, sleeping bag, and then okay, fourth layer needed. Hopefully, the little guy you know, hopefully, but no chance now. Till be see you guys tomorrow. Ooh.